we're gonna start with the back step, you know, and uh, try and look for this leg here. I'm gonna sit, and uh, what I wanna do, if the leg's exposed like the way it is right now, I wanna maintain control for both legs. Got it? Let me just lean this way, this side here. Turn the guard this way, yeah. Step back, I point my foot this way, I'm looking for this here. Once I fall this way, the reason I wanna control this leg in the beginning is that's the one that helped this one here to escape. Or to finger fall, get on top of me, or to kick this leg and turn, or to use his foot right behind my, my leg to spin out and escape from ball. Do you understand? So if you get a hold of that leg until I start stretching his leg, I'm gonna have a better chance to avoid his escapes. Got it? Yes, sir. I'm gonna go back step this way. His legs exposed already for me. I'm gonna suck his knee right under my armpit this side. Control his heel. I'm gonna bring this leg with me. Now once I have this, I'm gonna hug the leg and look to control his his heel. That's again that is like compare this to the, the thumb for the arm bar. If you manipulate the toes go down, if the thumb go down he can escape. If the heels start turning he can escape too. I'm gonna take focus on this hug and squeeze. Maintain the head, the foot, the downside of my head here, which is more make tough him to try fish for the foot to cross. And then I can, ma I can manipulate his heel, his toes better on this angle here. Got it? Yes, sir. I the legs exposed here. I go like this and bring the leg cross. Boom. Any questions? Look that I pinch my knees. I try to sit down close that I can't my, my butt to his hip. <clears throat> once, I, once I start squatting to the, the knee bar, to the back step. Any questions? Let's go guys, pair up, I have a few white belts. It's really, it's really hard to get the, the knee exposed, like the leg exposed like this. Come, especially come for the back step. You can see it different. If you try sweeping, like say being bold, the leg gets posed between your leg and you reach out. But the back step, most of the time, is going to be aware. It grips, it's going to get a hold of you. Or he wants to sit, it's going to already lock his feet, right? You can exactly. even catch him by surprise, be fast. Come for a knee cut pass and do the back step. But right now, if I go like this, I said, he most likely is going to defend like this. Okay. And it's like a, a arm bar, break through for arm bar. You know, you have a lot of different uh, ways to break the, unlock the leg. Close it comes, yeah? The, the arm bar, it's way, uh, the arm is way easier to break than compared to the leg. If you think of the leg, it's gonna be really hard, right? Yeah, uh, and the, the leg, in the leg, we don't have much, we're not in a dominant position. Yeah, you, you're more off balance. If it sits in the arm bar, I have a way more leverage in my favor, that's right? So this one here, no, I need to be stable. You cannot uh, attack the leg, especially if the leg's not exposed for you right away. I already fall. It's, it's gonna be a bad on bar tent, it's gonna be a bad knee bar tent, right? You control, find a good grip, stay linked forward, make, especially if the gi. If you start getting a hold of collar on the back here, or even cross grip in the collar, or I hold my sleeves, it's gonna take a lot of my, my mobility to start attacking. You good there? Or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm still I'm still doing this. Look, once I get this one here, I try get the doing this here with the, the leg. You know, if it's too tight, probably yeah, if it goes like this, boom, yeah, it's too tight, you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time to uh, pull and break this one here. Understand? But what what's look look, look what he's doing? He's trying to break the pull, pull the leg, hide, hide that foot they're gonna attack, nah, that's the right way for him to, to attack. We're gonna do this one. This can come. Oh, on the bottom, on the top, I'm gonna pull this foot towards me. Like I'm looking for to hold this foot here. But I'm not gonna toe for right now. What, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull those legs much as I can cross up uh, above the knee. Once I pull the, if I have like this, it start, uh, he, he looks for the, the height of the foot, right? So his leg's gonna be most, most like come this way here to prevent you to attack this one here. You pull, oh. Once you pull here, you're gonna step open. Get the foot right, right behind your knee. And now you have the, the knee bar here. Do the back step, pull. He's doing like this. Well, you pull the foot all the way up. 
here. Don't worry about this leg, because it's not a place for, for this leg to go. Does it make sense? You need this one here as a help. I can hold like this as I'm doing, but the focus is bring the foot over here. You step over. Once you step over, it's not a leg to defend. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. You good there? And this can come on the bottom too. I go like this. I stop fighting for this foot. He hide the foot right behind the knee. Right? Take this leg away from him. Hold the foot. Step back too. Get away. Most likely, this one here is going to be on top. Right? If you're doing like this, you're doing wrong. You're still giving the leg for me. But once you start attack, pull the foot for. It feels like a toe hole. And it probably is going to hide the foot. You're going to play catch him if you can. You know, knee bar or toe hole. Do you understand? Sure, if you hide that foot, put, put it behind, the, behind, behind his knee. If he goes like this, I pull. I'm going to pull this one here. I'm going to start bringing this one towards me now. He goes on top. He goes on top here. Or if you, for some reason, get to the bottom, fight with me too. Pull the leg, step over, boom, go. They this take the, the assistant help out of him. Does it make sense? Yes. That's the leg is going to help. But the foot had to go above the, lead, the line, the line of the, the foot had to go above the, the knee. If he's get below the knee, he's going to use that foot that I try to hook right behind the knee as a hook for him. You can push away. If you pull over, if I do, if I do like this, goes just the foot like this here. Try step this one here. You can start extending that gear. Oh. So that's turned to be a hook for him. But send that's why if I get super high here, oh. now once so I push it, once so you push it uh, down this foot here, he cannot hook and elevate my leg. Does it make sense though? No? Sure, sure. Let's go guys. Same thing. Sitting. Another detail to try to keep your hip, your head of, uh, past your hip. If you start leaning back, especially for the gi. You lose your balance, you start getting a hold of my yes. See if you to hop on top of me. But stand, you want to make sure the lean forward. You sit, don't fall, don't don't tumble when you you do the back step. Sure. Sure. Like this. Look, he's figure four now. Still doing this here. I'm pulling. You, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, uh, look for the toe hole, but I, I'm looking for the toe hole, leaning my my head on top of my my, my grip. But said, don't don't separate yourself. It's not a sacrifice move. It's uh, I'm 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 doing this. Is because the, his reaction. I'm pulling the foot to try to extend his leg here. This, drive your armpit nearby your his Achilles. You're gonna give a better grip here. Is this? Keep my feet right behind his butt. One thing that I don't want to do is go for like a 50-50 sit, uh, 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 situation. No position. That I, I swing his leg, I leave my legs here for him too. But send, keep my foot right behind his butt. Now I have this super tight. Grab the piggy toes. My palm around my knuckles is going to be down to his piggy toes this way. I'm doing this one this, uh, this way. Bring down. Raise his heel and goes. If what happened here, if you start shooting the leg there to fight against this one here to help this one, I'm gonna bring this one here over the side, down here. Still hold this bottom one here, right? And bring this one here this way. Now, I'm gonna bring his shield up, this one, and arch my back. But stand. One of the reasons I don't wanna bring this side here is because this. But stand, I help him to come up in a 50-50. But if I have this, again, I fall this way, super tight, here. If it goes this, if you break, if he breaks, it's here. Hip, and turn the, and turn his heel this way. Got it? Yes, sir. Let's go, guys, for up. 